This is from Aaron. Uh, he's. I like to dress up a nice pair of jeans now and then by adding a sport coat, vest, as well as uh, brown wingtip boots. Sure. I try to keep it casual, maybe a little cool, which for Seattle is practically black tie. Uh, how would you approach the same idea with a kilt? The standard tweed jacket and vest, uh, quite traditional, or I like... And I like the look a lot. I'm also looking for a way to make it a little bit more casual while still dress, while still being dressed up. Casual and kind of cool, funky. Um, if it were... You could literally take the same top half of your outfit, but take your tweed blazer and swap it out for a tweed, you know, kilt jacket. Yeah. Um, and then just for the bottom half, wear a kilt and a pair of kilt hose and a pair of either brown wingtip, wingtip boots... Uh, what, what do they call with their with their like ankle or? Uh, I call them walking boots, but that's because I'm, you know, yeah. a Victoria file. But yeah, there's yeah, there's a there's another name for it. I forget what it is, but you know, okay. boots that are you know like eight hole boots. They're you know six inches or whatever off the ground. Some guys wear chuckas. Yeah, that that may be the yeah. word I'm looking for is chucka. Yeah. Um, but something like that as kind of a funky, you know, little bit casual ish. Um, if you don't want to do the jacket, then I'd say uh, maybe a tweed vest. Um, Either unbuttoned or buttoned with like a, uh, a grandfather shirt, something like that, mm -hmm. and the same kind of footwear and kilt. That would be a nice, casual, relaxed yet funky steampunkish to some degree. I wouldn't say, I say steampunk, I wouldn't say but you know what I mean. Steampunkish. I wouldn't say steampunkish, but uh, um, yeah, I mean it's basically Let's the put way gears you... on the sporing. It'll be fine. That's yeah, exactly. <laughs> Spray paint them on. Exactly. Love that one. Um, yeah, it's basically casual with a kilt is like casual with anything else. You just you don't wear the tie or you roll up the sleeves um, or you have a less tailored looking shirt than a really crisp dress shirt. Um, you wear the vest open instead of clothes. There's any number of ways to do it. Um, you're probably fine just trusting your instincts. Like Rocky just said, you just instead of the pants, you got the kilt. Everything else, it's the same kind of vibe. Pretty just, much. Don't, as we always warn, don't try to use a regular suit jacket with a kilt. The proportions will be wrong, um, but it's not hard to do a casual, sharp day wear look. Um, if you if you if you do an image search on kilts, um, a lot of time you will see model photography for companies in in Scotland um, where you have the guy who looks like a hipster and he's got the beard and he's got some ink maybe on his arms and he's got the sleeves rolled up and he's looking, yeah, you know, but he's in a kilt. Um, it's not hard to do at all. Um, the only other thing I would maybe suggest for that particular look mm -hmm. is scrunch down the kilt hose and remove the flashes. You could. Perhaps. You could. Um, I. It's not my personal look, but I could see it being done in that in that context. I'll do. I'll keep the kilt hose up with the flashes, um, but I will wear the tie loose. And you've seen me do that on the show. Mm-hmm. You know, or just in the shop. I'll just, you know, I'll have the sleeves rolled up and the and the tie loose. I might have some leather bracelets on. You can just kind of mix it up that way. 